Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to map your keyboard and mouse to PCSX2 so you can navigate using a keyboard and mouse like you're playing a PC games using the PCSX2 emulator, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator. This is applicable if you're doing it on Linux, if you're doing your Windows, or if you're doing your Mac via, you know, some sort of wine exploit and yeah it processes basically the same so what you want to do is go to config you want to go to controllers plugin setting this is applicable if you have multi-tap enabled as well there's a separate video covering that so feel free to check that out and from here you want to make sure the keyboard api windows messaging is selected i find this is usually selected by default but if it isn't make sure this is selected for mouse mine was by default disabled so you want to put direct input even though it says window messaging is recommended I've tried that honestly it doesn't work at least not for me i find direct input works all the time and that is great so the other thing that you need to make sure is unchecked is this here start with a mouse focus what this basically means is when you start the game unless you've properly focused onto it it won't actually recognize the input so you want to deselect that and apart from that, we're all good to go. So you go to pad one or pad two. I'm going to clear all. I'm going to map some of the controls. I'm going to be testing a game called Black, which is a first person shooter. So I'm not going to map all the controls. I'm just going to map a few of them. I'm going to map the left analog stick, which is used for moving around. So forward, backwards, strafing left and right. So I've just pressed the up key on my keyboard, just so you can see. What is being mapped and down left and right to move in the game in terms of looking around you use the right analog stick this is what I'm going to use the mouse for so you press on the up key and then move the mouse in the direction that you want the up button to be triggered based on your mouse so ooh, that was my phone let me put some vibration there that shouldn't disturb us so if I click up and move my mouse up it is now y axis minus you all might be y axis plus it depends on how you've got your mouse configured in your in your window settings that doesn't matter at all as long as you move the mouse up for the button that you want to get triggered when you use the mouse physically up i mean in the real world forward you're all good to go and then same thing for down and it should just be the opposite of that left and it should just be x-axis plus okay so that's all good to go now another key that i need in here oh i messed that up uh, there we go okay so you got to make sure because mouse is activated when you press on a key to map it that you map it without moving the mouse because otherwise it will map using the mouse so space for that i'm going to use the so my button zero is the left mouse button L1, ah, did it again. And what have I mapped to the X axis? So there we go. So the right mouse button is button one. That's L1 I'm going to do. So that's a zoom and that is a shoot. What else do I need? I'll need start. So I'm going to do that as enter, select as backspace. I don't think if I need anything else. Circle is pretty important in this game. That is melee. I would do that as I usually have enter as the melee, so I'll do start as you know what I'll just do it as insert. Yeah, why not? Okay, but again you can configure it however you want. So I'll do circle, that's enter, and we're good to go. So make sure you click apply. Again, you can configure all the other buttons as well, and you can do something similar for pad two and pad one A B C D and pad 2a b c d if you're using multi-tap so click ok but make sure you click apply and ok and now i'm going to run a game so i've already got black selected click fast boot and i know if i press f3 you'll load one of my states so it's loaded the state. Uh, I just want to maximize this. There we go. So I'm using the arrow keys. I am able to go up and down. So if I press paste it, 
do this and now I'm moving around with my mouse so I'm walking down let's shoot these guys oh yeah so plain black with a keyboard and mouse whoever would have thought it oh yeah so let's I did a map square so I can't actually pick the weapon up so I can't see the beautiful explosion that would occur did a map part two as well but again you know just feel free to map all the keys to your hearts do I am and I'm about to die okay so I am now dead let's click escape and so that is it that is how you map keyboard and mouse on the PCSX2 emulator if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message I've got a video covering it on the EPSXE emulator which is a PlayStation 1 emulator the steps are different so if you are wanting to play PlayStation 1 game with a keyboard and mouse feel free to check that video out and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video